Welcome back everybody. This is the Well People Expressionist Bio Extreme Mascara. This has a four out of five stars. Over 22,000 people have reviewed it. I have a clip of me applying it on. This is the brush. So it's a very thin brush. I'm used to volumizing mascaras. The, the formula is supposed to be lengthening, volumizing, and curling, and it says not tested on animals. I got it in the color black. It is $21.99, but I got it for $14, I believe, and some change at Whole Foods, which was awesome. From the website, this says, this boundary breaking formula creates big, bold, fluffy lashes instantly. And, all caps. It nourishes thanks to a synergistic botanical blend. Hyper pure mineral pigments create the blackest of black for highly defined luxurious lashes. Our new high tech brush design with injection molded rubber and a unique cascade shape precisely separates the thinnest, shortest, hard to reach lashes by expertly scooping up and lengthening each one while delivering just the right amount of product. This wonder wand works for both tight lining and building. We know because it's been through rigorous professional testing. You can feel confident in making a beautiful choice because there are no harsh artificial chemicals or petroleum derivatives that can irritate the sensitive eye area. It says 100% cruelty free, petroleum free, paraben free, gluten free, coal tar free, aluminum free, fiber free, and clump free. When I purchased it, I thought, oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna try my first ever clean beauty mascara because I, I don't know where to begin. And so I figured if it has a lot of reviews, why not? I already have smaller lashes as it is and not very long, so I thought, you know, I don't have much hope for it to be quite honest, for it being volumizing and bold and stuff compared to my favorite mascara, which is from um, Too Faced. I think that this mascara did not really give that volume that I wanted. It did not give the length that I wanted nor the curl. It kind of just stayed there even if I did two layers. Another thing I noticed was that the black is very black so that is good. I do enjoy the color of it. Um, it gives you natural lashes pretty much but something that did throw me off a bit which kind of prevents me from wanting to get it again is when I am removing it. Typically when I go to wash my face I don't remove any mis um, I don't remove any makeup beforehand. I just put the soap on and wash my face, and it'll go away. But I noticed that whenever I wear this mascara, my eyes start to sting. I don't know why. I've never had this happen before, but it does sting my eyes, and I'm it's not comfortable at all. Obviously, if something's stinging you, there has to be something wrong with it. I don't know if I'm allergic to something in this formula or if it's just that's natural. I I have no idea, but it does bother me and so it kind of prevents me from wanting to wear it again just because I don't like the feel of it obviously I do notice however that if I do like pre remove my mascara with like a cotton ball and a makeup remover it does kind of help to subside the pain later on but I do notice that it still is pretty noticeable that it's still gonna sting me regardless so I, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what what's causing that to happen. I haven't really ever been allergic to any type of ingredients before. So I'm kind of at a loss of words when it comes to that. So I've never really had any issues with things in the past. So just seeing that something that's supposed to be clean and good for you and it ends up stinging me, it's kind of throwing me off to the idea. So in a way, I'm glad that I did purchase this at a discounted price and not the full price because if it was at the full price, I probably would not be happy. It's still, you know, still cost a bit, but I do think it's a sleek design, nice, pretty tube, just simple. It's unfortunate, you know, you wanna try a new product. However, that's just my thoughts. Maybe it won't happen to you. This is something that I thought was different, you know, because almost everyone loves the mascara. If you look at the 22,000 people, there's like a four star rating that really love the mascara, but I think out of five stars, I'm gonna have to give it in honesty, like a, two or three just because I don't feel like it gives the best results possible. I've been trying to wait it out a little bit. Maybe the formula is too watery for now and it's not going to, you know, you know, sometimes you have to use the mascara for a while before it actually starts getting drier and actually works. I find that this formula is a little bit more on the wet side. So maybe it just needs to kind of dry down a bit before it gets more of that volume and the curling and the luscious lashes you know the luxurious lashes but until then i'm gonna keep working with it but 
knowing that it does sting my eyes is a big big reason for me not to continue using it just because i don't want to be harming my eyes and it's kind of difficult especially when they say this is not supposed to harm you if this has happened to you or know why this could be possibly stinging the eyes or if you have another recommendation for a mascara please let me know and i will possibly try it out because i do enjoy mascara try-ons thank you so much for watching bye